is a continuation of the previous video. In the previous video, the area to print was set and the printer to use was selected. This video and the next three videos will explain how to modify or adjust the way in which the selected area will be printed. To adjust the way in which the selected area will be printed, we need to open the Page Setup window by following the steps shown on the screen. So, I first click the File menu. Second, I click Print. Finally, I click Page Setup, which is located at the very end of the printing options. and the Page Setup window is open. The Page Setup window is composed of four tabs. Each one of them has several tools to set the area to print. This video will explain how to use the Page Setup tools under the tab Page. When we set up a page, the first step is to choose the paper size. This is selected from the Paper Size drop-down list. As you can see, we can select different paper sizes. I select Custom, which is a paper size that I have already defined in my printer. Now that the paper size has been defined, I define the printing orientation. This is set under the area orientation that has the options Portrait and Landscape. The option Portrait is currently selected. The Portrait orientation is used when the text needs to be printed along the shorter side of the page. Now I select the option Landscape. and click the button OK. We can see that this option prints along the longest side of the page. Also, we see that I need four pages to print the document. The difference between the landscape and portrait orientations is that the landscape orientation shows more columns than the portrait option. On the other hand, the Portrait option shows more rows than the Landscape option. Now that the paper orientation has been changed to Landscape, let's see how Excel will print all the pages. So, I exit the Preview window. And change the view to Page Break Preview. We can see that Excel has distributed the area to print into four pages. The size of the printed area is two pages wide and a little more than one page in height. Even though it is a little more than one page in height, Excel considers it as two pages. How can we tell Excel to fit these four pages in exactly two pages wide and one page in height? To accomplish this, I need to open the Page Setup window first. The second group of options under the Page tab is called Scaling. Scaling has two options. The first option is called Adjust To and allows for making the selected area larger or smaller by changing the number in the box next to it. The number entered by default is 100, which represents the normal size of the selected area. To make the area print double its size, I enter 200.
and click OK. As you can see, the area to print doubled its original size. Now, 18 pages are required to print the document rather than 4 pages. Now, I will reduce the area to print to half its original size. I enter 50. And click OK. As you can see, the area to print was reduced to half of its original size. Now, only one page is required to print the document rather than four pages. The second option, under scaling, is called Fit To. This option can make the area to print fit a specified number of pages in both width and height. To illustrate, I select Fit To. Since I want to fit the area selected into two pages in width, I enter 2 in the first text box. And since I need to fit the selected area into one page in height, I enter 1 in the second text box. Finally, I click OK. We see that the left bottom corner shows 2 as the number of pages. This confirms that Excel has scaled the number of pages from 4 to 2. Let's see how Excel will print the document. So, I exit the preview window. And we can see that Excel has distributed the area to print in exactly two pages wide and one page in height.